What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, um, if you enjoy the videos and uh, maybe you've been watching a hot minute or maybe you're new and you enjoy the content um, and you want to be notified for future readings, you can smash the sub button. Just letting everybody know. Um, I welcome, welcome in all the newbies. Welcome in some uh, people that randomly just uh, clicked on the video. Welcome in everybody else. Um, love to have you guys just saying this is a free uh, general collective reading um i got it channeled in so i decided to do this reading it's cups through such everybody in between don't forget the basics time is fluid energy is fluid if it doesn't apply let it apply everyone has free will only take the messages that resonate so um i got it channeled in so i decided to do the reading now i pulled some decks um that i felt drawn to use after i got the channel um i pulled the tea leaf and energy deck so we're gonna do it um i hope everybody is doing okay i think i have 10 signs for week two um i explained the whole three signs for week one is gonna roll over to week two and then to catch myself up because i had so much going on last week um a lot a lot a lot more than normal so um usually i'm very very good at keeping up but it got me behind so that's how i'm gonna catch myself up i think i've got 10 signs done maybe nine but i'll get them caught up um, and then we'll keep rolling from there. But I got this channeled in, so I'm going to go ahead and do this reading. I love you guys. I just want to let you know I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I really, really do. I couldn't do this without you. Um, each and every one of you guys, every like, subscribe, share, unlike, every donation. If you'd like to donate, it's Hypers 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. Okay, so the channel I received was... <clears throat> Someone's use of extreme military style, um, mil what was it? Military style, hold on a second, military style methods, methods is what it was. Military style methods is about to backfire in their face in a huge way. That's what it was, methods. So someone's extreme use of military style methods, military style methods, um, is about to backfire in their face in a huge way. So some kind of extreme use of military style methods. Um, this could be somebody using these on you. This could be somebody you're connected to that's using these extreme military style methods, or they're about to start using them, um, or they've used them for a hot minute. How that resonates, but um, hopefully they're not being used on you, but you know, you never know. I mean, now if you're in the military, that's different. You signed up for that, but whoever this is for, this person most certainly did not sign up for it. Some, several people. Okay, I heard this. For some, this person did not sign up for it. For some, several people. So, okay, so it's not, you know, they signed their 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 life over to the military. Uh, it's not that. Um, you know, when you go into the military, you free willingly sign yourself in to agree to um, the contractual agreement of the military. <laughs> This is not that. This is, I mean, this ain't funny. This ain't funny. Sometimes I laugh at ridiculous stuff. So, sorry. It's not funny. Um, But this person did not agree to be treated that way is what I'm trying to say. For some, it's one person. For some, it's several people. For some, it could be you being treated that way. For some, it could be just to be somebody connected to you being treated that way. But it's some kind of military style methods they're using, tactics, methods they're using to try to get some kind of behavior or response or um, result or something of that nature. I heard it's about to backfire in a huge way. And then I got a second channel in, and it was about two minutes after that. I heard um, a child, uh, a child for some and a children for some is about to really start appreciating a parent they did not appreciate in the past. So um, a child for some and children for some is about to start really start appreciating a parent they did not in the past. So you plug that in, how that resonates. Um, they did not appreciate this parent or parents in the past, but um, maybe for some situations, this child or children is being subjected to this military style methods um, or style or treatment or something. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I do, I do feel in some of these situations, it might with that second channel, because it was, it wasn't crazy long after that first channel it, it was a couple minutes s but i feel in some of these situations it is children being subjected to some kind of military style as 
treatment, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's a, um, like a boot camp. I don't think it's a boot camp. I think it's like somebody in their family or a family friend or a neighbor, somebody that, you know, they don't have, um, not like a juvie detention hall is what I'm trying to say. It's not like a juvie detention hall. It's not like a military style boot camp that your parents sent you there because you, um, have broken into somebody's home or you um, stabbed somebody or you stole $200 from somebody, um, you know, cause people, kids that get sent to juvie, juvie hall, juvie detention, boot camps, things like that. Their parents send them sometimes for very extreme behavior, kind of like vandalism or extreme theft or, um, slashing somebody's tires or breaking into somebody's home or something like that. Um, I don't feel it's that kind of behavior. Um, I really don't. Someone is having a huge wake up call. Okay. I heard someone's having a huge wake up call. So, um, maybe you're having a huge wake up call about this, the military style treatment, maybe your kids are being subjected to, or somebody's kid or kids are being subjected to, or you're being subjected to, um, or something like that, or they're about to be subjected to, um, or something else. You plug in how it resonates, but in some of these situations, I do think it's a child or kids being subjected to this treatment. It's about to backfire. For some, I feel it's adults, uh, adult or adults being subjected to this kind of treatment and it's about to backfire. So you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, it makes me wonder what kind of situation this is in. I mean, I'm serious. I don't, I don't think it's in a juvie. I, I don't. Because if you're in a juvie hall or boot camp or something like that, you have to, you have to, because you've done something so horrendous to be sent there. Um, so you have to be subjected to that, that kind of treatment. But this is, um, I heard, you know, spirit message earlier in here was not those kind of situations. It wasn't. Um, so it's somebody just free willingly deciding they're going to use these kind of methods to get some kind of desired result or outcome or, um, or they're going to manipulate the situation with like control and force and narcissism as type energy to get their desired re result and outcome and things like that. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Um, yikes. Spirit messages. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Look at y'all. You don't see me. I just wham. All right. I'm, I got four out, but I'm going to get it, get it, get another round because I didn't hear try again, but I feel guided to do try again. So, holy crap. Something's going on. What is going on? Oh my God. Y'all see this? I think somebody is, maybe this person's nervous. And they don't know what else to do but that. I mean, because there's like a lot of nervous energy, scattered brain energy um, is what I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, the cars just keep going everywhere. Okay. Spirit messages, you have those like this. If this resonates with you guys, I would love to know it resonates. Um, just to let you guys know, I would love to know it resonates. I mean, I hope this doesn't resonate for anybody, but I mean, it's for at least one person out in the collective. Spirit messages you have for collective. But we all know that the world is not a perfect place. It's most certainly not a perfect place by any stretch. And um, sometimes there's, there's people, especially narcissistic people, they feel they can control others or a situation or, um, or events um, by narcissistic type energy and um, military style tr treatment of others, um, like extreme military tactic treatment now. I'm not talking about like schedules and, and things like that. Um, that's healthy, but I'm this is like extreme military S type behavior. Um, I, I mean, extreme. So I'm thinking like, you've got, it's not funny, but I'm thinking like, you've got 10 minutes to eat, then you're 
then you've got to put your bowl in the sink and it's got to be washed in 2.5 minutes. Like that. I mean, I didn't hear that, but that's an example I'm feeling it might resonate. Or you've got 30 seconds to go in there and poop and wipe or something. I mean, something like that. I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm serious. This is terrible. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay. I heard child and children in there earlier. Um, in some situations, I do think it's adult. But we have, I want to tell you what we got out so far. We've got time to act and family matters. So it's something going on in a family situation for some of you guys. I strongly, strongly feel. Um, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Okay. It's something for some I feel is in a family situation. It's a family dynamic and somebody is just taking their control to um, like extremes or they're, that's exactly what I think. Or they're about to take their control to extremes and it's going to create the time to act energy. That's exactly what I think. According to the messages and the cards, let me show you real quick. Spirit messages you have for the collective. And I heard so um it sounds like through this, um a child or children. However, that plugs into your life. There's definitely child and children in here in some of these situations. Definitely. We have family matters, the uh, clear audience message about child and children for some. And then I got out the family matters card. Um, there's definitely child or children in some of these situations. Um, definitely. Um, but you plug, you plug it in how it resonates. It could just be a controlling or abusive S type partner trying to control you if you don't have children. Um, and you're in a relationship and they just, you know, you got five minutes to make the bed. I'm, I'm counting it, you know, like that. If you don't have children. Spirit messages you have reflected. Spirit messages you have reflected. Messages you have reflected. Yeah. Okay, so number thirty four, twenty three, or twenty might be very significant. Thirty four, twenty three, or twenty. Those could be ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be um, possible um, significant significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be a social uh, number, green card number, date of birth number, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It could be significant numbers you're seeing on billboards or advertisements. It could be a jersey number, a lottery number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 34, 23, 20. Okay, so lion, time to act. There's about to be a very serious situation. Some in a family situation, some in a 
relationship that needs attention immediately. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Or there's about to be a very serious situation, some in a family um, dynamic, some in a personal relationship that needs attention immediately. So time to act card. So um, that's like fire sign energy. Lion is fire sign energy. Um, it needs attention now, immediately. Like something needs to be, it needs attention. Like right now, you can't leave it on the back burner. So, you know, for some, I heard for some in a family um, situation, some in a relationship. So for some, they might, um, whatever the uh, immediate attention in the relationship, that's what makes me wonder. I hope nobody ch pitches anybody cheating. And I'm being for real, for real. I hope not. Um, that one makes me think in a relationship because the immediate attention in a relationship, um, you know, you can put a date off for a few days. Um, just saying, you can... You know, yeah, you want to spend time with your partner, but they're busy, you're busy. Um, you can put a date off for a few days, but it's immediate. So I'm thinking some kind of cheating energy. And I'm just being serious. Maybe that's what's, um, for some of you guys, if you don't have, the, you know, resonate in the children department and you're in the relationship department, maybe your partner was being super militant style to you, like extreme narcissistic crazy energy. And it, not that I condone cheating, but... I think it led you possibly to another partner or your partner got led to another partner and, and that's what's going to cause cheating, possibly. So time to act. I think that might be cheating. For some, it might be counseling. For some, it might be partner counseling, um, po po possibly. You, But some kind of immediate relationship as type thing. Now for children, it's something else. It's something in a family dynamic regarding children where it's, it's immediate and needs to be done immediately. So some kind of time to act energy, some in a personal relationship, some in a family dynamic. Family matters. And we have the family card. It's going to cause several people to get involved. More people than... The militant style person wants involved, but it will happen and create other series of chain events. For some in the relationship sector, you're going to find out some you're pregnant, some your partner's pregnant. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, that could be the time to act in the relationship department. Um, you're finding out you're pregnant or some of your partner's pregnant. That could be the time to add energy in the A department, relationship department. But if your partner's being all militant and controlling, the, the time to act also could be conversation time. You know, you can't be controlling on me anymore and definitely not the kid energy. That's what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. Now for some, so for some, you're about to, in the relationship department, you're going to find out you're pregnant. For some, you're going to find out your partner's pregnant. Time to act energy for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, for some, it's a family situation. And it's it sounds like the person that's doing these extreme militant style tactics to incur some kind of result. Um, it's about to go overboard or a situation is about to come to a head. However, that resonates. Um, and it's, I heard it's going to cause more people to get involved than this person wants to get involved. So people are going to, I mean, the kids are, I guess, going to talk. I hope the kids are going to talk about it. Kids are going to talk about it. Maybe to the parent they didn't appreciate in the past because there's a parent we're drawing in. Now you could be this parent or it could be somebody else. You have to plug yourself in it and how it resonates. But after the militant message, I heard there was a child and for some children that's really going to start appreciating a parent that they did not appreciate in the past. So for some, the child or children could speak to that other parent they didn't appreciate in the past about this other parent being militant style, extreme militant style, and it's going to create a series of chain of events because that other parent probably is not militant style. And um, Or they could speak to somebody else. It don't have to be the other parent. It can be the other parent. It can be somebody else. It can be a grandparent. It can be a teacher. It could be a counselor, et cetera, et cetera, but somebody... And it's going to get more people involved than this militant style person wants involved, which is, um, sounds like it's going to create 
series of chain of events positively for the family to get it resolved to help um because it sounds almost a little abusive um i didn't hear abusive in here but it sounds almost abusive um they're trying to incur some kind of result desired result or outcome or something but they're using some kind of extreme or about to use some kind of extreme tactics to do it um and this situation doesn't sound like it's happened yet but it's about to in the family realm and the pregnancy realm so you plug it in how it resonates and that one makes sense in the relationship realm family matters pregnancy baby bump baby bump energy new and on the way for some i feel y'all's first one for some, it could, it don't have to be your first one, but definitely pregnancy energy, that is for sure. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. This speaking out about this is going to cause changes here. and people's eyes to be open in a huge way okay i heard um so speaking out about this i think the children speaking out about it or you speaking out about it this in a relationship dynamic some i think somebody's relationship dynamics rocky um i think it's very rocky so much so there has to be immediate attention granted towards it some kind of abusive narcissistic partner that really loves military style tactics um, but they like controlling their partner. But for some, there's about to be a child involved, which is going to make it more complicated. Um, that's, oh, Lord, that's scary. But um, but I think you, if you resonate with this and you're not the military style partner, you're about to speak out about it. And it's going to um, get you some help in here. Uh, whoever you're going to speak out to it about it, about it. Um, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully it doesn't resolve. Um, it, hopefully it doesn't. Um, oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't go to domestic violence. I'll tell you that. Um, and the police don't get involved. I mean, maybe for some, you might feel like you have to call the police. I feel it's a very strained dynamic in the relationship department. I do. And for some, you're about to find out you're pregnant. You're son you're about to find out your partner's pregnant so for some i feel it might be domestic violence you might have to call the police and i'm just being for real for real i'm serious i'm serious because people that exert that kind of control all the time and want to control their partners and want to dominate their partners and want to dominate their children and want to be the head honcho masculine or feminine head honcho of their family like that like that it's this is me and this is my little minions um that's not healthy. It's not healthy. Um, so hopefully it doesn't come to violence. So for some, you might have to call the police. For some, you might call a family member. For some, you might call a friend. For some, you might tell a coworker. But um, you're going to tell somebody. And it's going to create some change, positive change in there, which is going to create triumph over obstacles, um, triumph over troubles and obstacles. And that's good. That's good. This is scary, man. Door to personal healing and happiness. Upright. Heard it's going to create changes. It's going to create changes. So for um, for some, maybe the maybe um, it might create changes in living situations for the children. For some, it might create changes in um, uh, pregnant partner. Maybe they they get away to like a domestic abuse shelter, um, or they go to a friend's house or family member's house or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but some kind of change energy i'm feeling somebody might exit the house uh at least for a little while i feel they might exit the house for a little while and that could be the time to act energy as well um absolutely definite changes here but speaking up Okay, her definite changes here was speaking up. So somebody's about to speak out about this situation, which is going to create definite changes. And it's going to create personal healing and happiness. Um, they're going to speak out about this militant style person that some, they want to control their partners. Some, they want to control 
children or kid, kid or children, um, you plug it in how it resonates. All tied up. For some, the desired outcome of this militant person could have been to um, trap somebody with a child uh, pregnancy. And for some of you guys, I feel like it worked because somebody's pregnant, which is terrible. All tied up. It's going to create more flexibility here. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of communication is going to occur to many people. Okay, I heard it's going to create more um, flexibility here and basically a ton of communication is going to go to a lot of people. So all tied up reverse is like for freedom. Um, so it's going to be create lots of communication. People are going to help this person or kid or children. Maybe you're going to be the one to help the person, kid or children, or somebody's going to help you if you are the person, kid or children. Um, but it's going to come with lots of communication, which is going to create freedom for the ones being militantly abused here or about to be militantly abused. I mean, I don't know how else to explain that. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. My God. Envy. And I just want to reiterate, this is not like a freaking... This ain't no boot camp. This ain't no penitent, uh, like, Judy Hall. This is people's homes. This is people's homes. Envy reversed. People are going to realize the full scope of the situation very soon after these series of chain events occur. And they were once jealous of a situation. Now they're not. They will not be. They will not be. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, so these series of chain of events that are about to occur, it looks like up in the top energy up here, um, that's going to create people to really start speaking out about this militant person. Um, I mean, they just use extreme militant tactics. Um, some on their partner, some on child or children. Um, but they just, it's like they don't have healthy coping mechanism skills. They're trying to come out with some kind of desired result. Some is to tra entrap their partner with a child to keep them chained to them. And I'm just being real with the partner energy. The other, the children energy, it, that whatever desired outcome and result they're trying to obtain there. But it sounds like the extreme use of militant tactics is not the way to go. It's making the situation worse. But however that resonates, I heard people were once jealous of this situation. But after these series of chain events occur, they're not going to be jealous because they're going to see the situation for what it really is. So envy reverse, they once were jealous. They once were jealous of the situation, but they will not be soon because they're about to really come direct. It could be you coming direct to see the situation for what it really is or somebody you're connected to coming direct to see the situation for what it really is. Um, once was jealous, about to not be because they're really about to see the situation for what it really freaking is. And it's not roses and candy canes, I'll tell you that. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. It's going to create huge perspective changes here, huge, and a lot, of, a lot of respect for people they did not have respect for in the past. Okay, it's going to create huge perspective changes here, huge, and a lot of respect for um, some people they did not have respect for in the past. So um, I think it's the abused people or children, kids, or adults in this situation, some entrapped with preg pregnancies intentionally entrapped with pregnancies, some um, militantly abused um, to get some kind of desired outcome or result. Um, but extreme, like extreme, like juvie. I, I, I picture like a juvie detention center, uh, drill instructor, drill instructor, or like a military drill instructor. Uh, I'm serious. That's what I picture, which is terrible. I mean, because the people in the military sign up for that. They're a mental facets to sign up for that. These people are not signing up for that. This is like home situation crap. Um, this is terrible. But I heard um, people are going to start seeing the situation with it really what it really is. They were once jealous of the situation. Now they're not because they, they're about to see it for what it really is. So envy reversed. Um, yikes. 
Somebody just got entrapped with pregnancy. I'll tell you that. Definitely. For their relationship parts. And some, some, somebody's kids are about to start undergoing some kind of extreme militant action. But it's in a home style situation, not because they deserve it. Not because they vandalized somebody's property or stole somebody's property or got sent to some kind of juvie hall. It's because their own. It's either a family member or a friend or somebody that has access to these kid or kid, um, children are able to do this. But somebody's about to figure it out. Thank God. Heard lots and lots and lots of communications about to come, um, and it's about to get the children help, the trap pregnant partner help, or the adults. Because some there's adults in here not pregnant that's being uh, abused by this militant person, whether it's a relationship or. Maybe a co-parent possibly connected to these children or kids or whoever. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is terrible. A lot of mind control here too. And someone's about to really see that too. Okay. Heard a lot of mind control here too. And somebody's about to really see that too. So mind control, like mental manipulation. So mental manipulation of kid or kids or um pregnant partner and trap the pregnancy partner um or adult um that's being militantly mentally abused and maybe physically abused you plug it in how it resonates this is terrible i hope this helps somebody out there i do you guys this is terrible yikes somebody's in some oh I, um, but I heard somebody's about to pick up on the mental manipulation. Um, I feel the mani men mental manipulation is of the entrapped pregnant partner and possibly the co kid or kids. And I'm serious about that. I do. I feel it could resonate always, but especially those, those two situations. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.